Hey, welcome to The Woods fans. In this video, I'm gonna remove the crusty carpet on these stairs and completely transform them. I'm Melissa, and if you're new to my channel, I love to do DIY home renovations, and I'm currently working on a lake house. This was the first step of getting rid of this plastic runner and then ripping up the carpet. Ripping up this carpet was so difficult. If you've ever removed carpet from stairs, you know there are a million staples and it's actually a good workout to do this. I pulled off all of the tack strips from the carpet on the risers and the treads and I knocked out all of those staples that you see from the underlayment and the edge of each tread had like, I don't know, 50 staples each that I had to pull out with pliers. It was so tedious. And when I was done, I had so many blemishes to fix. So I grabbed some high quality wood filler and this stuff, I just went crazy filling all the holes from the staples and the tack strips and every blemish in the wood. Now, my intent isn't necessarily to paint all of these, and at this point, I wasn't sure if I was working with the existing treads or not, so I just did my best getting them all filled. Then I sanded it smooth when it was dry, and I just sanded it to the touch, trying to get it as flush as possible. After a quick wipe down with a tack cloth to get all of the sanding dust removed, I came in with a high quality primer. This stuff is for new drywall, hard to coat surfaces. I trust it with things that get a lot of use and abuse, like sterilizers. At some point during the lake house renovation here, I decided to paint this space beige on the walls as well. So I set up my ladder and I cut in and painted the walls. I didn't want to skip this part because I didn't want that to be like a weird change when the walls suddenly weren't blue anymore. But yeah, that happened. And then um, I came in and painted the risers black in what looks like my best jeans. These are like my favorite jeans. And I even have a manicure in this clip. I don't know what was happening, like why I was dressed so nice to paint these stairs black, but kind of mad at myself that I did this. Thank goodness I didn't ruin those pants. At this point during the stairway makeover, I was doing flooring and I had the help of my neighbor, John, on that project. So he helped me remove this railing off the stairs. And then I'm gonna be like flooring the hallway and the living room space below. I am gonna try and reuse this railing. So while it was removed, I decided to shoot it with some new spray paint to freshen it up. It had gotten a little bit dinged during renovations and dirty. And so this just made it look brand spanking new. Please don't come at me for spray painting indoors. Nobody lives in this half of the lake house. So the fumes were not going to be like inhaled by anybody. Um, and then I'm wearing a respirator as you can see and I had the windows wide open for ventilation. It is never recommended to spray indoors but the temperature outside was too cold for me to do this outside. This next part made me hella nervous. Look at that face. I'm gonna attempt to use a jigsaw to cut the ends off of each of the stair treads because I am putting new treads on them that will match the flooring that is installed here in the hallway above and throughout the living room and kitchen. It's a beautiful waterproof laminate flooring from zenetflooring.com. It's in the color Fawn Chestnut. I absolutely love it. And the new stair treads are going to match exactly. Zenet Flooring is sponsoring this video. They're a company I've used three times they are so great. I love their selection. They're fast with their samples and their customer service is second to none. So if you are ordering flooring online, it is a company I would definitely recommend. However, I would not recommend cutting your stair treads this stupid way. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. Um, using a jigsaw to try and cut a straight line, getting it flush with like the riser board on the side. And then I use a oscillating multi-tool to cut off what the jigsaw couldn't reach but really nothing ended up very good and I, I just scuffed up the side of the stairs pretty badly. The last tread that I did, like the very last one, actually turned out well, but the other four, it was like, what am I doing? What I should have probably done is use a router, and if I were to do this again, I would, or maybe a circular saw, which I'll be showing later. After filling the scuff marks that I made from my terrible cutting, I decided I'm just gonna paint the side black as well to hide them. I didn't think I could match the stain well enough, and I thought the black would look fine. I didn't use a primer on the sides because I'm not worried about them really getting touched ever. 
So at this point, I'm checking out the treads that I have. They're like a fancy um, left return. So it has like a laminate casing across. And I'm seeing that the front lip is going to extend too far out unless I also cut off the tread bullnose. So I was worried about that being a trip hazard, as you can see by my like ridiculous demonstration with my tennies. So I decided I'm also gonna have to cut off the front of each tread. And here I'm using a circular saw. I drew a straight line to follow. This went smoother than the jigsaw, although still not foolproof, but the overhang on each of the laminate treads will cover any of that. So I didn't have to really fix or touch up this after my cut. Again, where the circular saw couldn't reach, I used an oscillating multi-tool. I could not live or do any DIY without this tool. It is so useful. If you don't have one, there's a link to that and all of my favorite tools in the description on this video. After cleaning that up, it was finally time to install my new laminate stair treads. First, I started with a landing strip at the top. I'm applying my construction adhesive in an S-shaped pattern, and I'm going to flip that over and tape it down tight until the glue dries. It's important not to walk on it for at least 12 hours. I'm doing the same process on the stair treads that I cut to size with my caulking gun and the construction adhesive. I bought a polyurethane construction adhesive, which is important for these to hold better than like a latex water-based one. Again, the S pattern so that the glue really grabs all directions. You do not need to nail down these stair treads and you do not need underlayment on stair treads either. So it's really a straightforward process. Cutting can be a little difficult. I pre-cut all of these and dry fit them before gluing using my table saw and a miter saw. Laminate can be difficult to cut for your blade unless it's new, sharp, and has a lot of teeth. I did not tape the treads into place as the glue dried. I put some pressure on them by shuffling across. Too bad I can't do the moonwalk. This would be the perfect opportunity. Then I replaced the stair railing, and this stair railing was made to have carpet go around it, but I actually think it looks just fine laid on top of the new stair tread like this. I pre-drilled holes through the laminate and then sunk some screws down that went into the wood stair tread beneath. Next, I ran a bead of siliconized latex caulk along all of the seams on the top of the treads where it meets the wall and where it meets the riser board that was white and then it dried to clear. So this is also going to help hold the treads into place and I just think that looks great. This is the after. Isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh, looking at the before, it just brings you back to how crazy these stairs started. I revived what was once carpeted, outdated, and honestly disgusting. And now it's like modern and it flows and it looks brand new. I can't even believe that that's the same stair railing. I actually think it looks really great. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you would have upgraded the stair railing or if you're happy that I kept the original. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you were blown away with the before and after transformation of these stairs. I know I am loving them. If you were impressed, be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more. Next up is the living room makeover and a fireplace build I can't wait to share.